Welcome back to Stream and Entertainment, it's your boy Marvin. Uh, we're going to be talking about Clarissa Shields uh, being dropped um, by a male boxer. Um, I don't think he's anything special, um, what I've read up about, and that he'd, um, they'd spied before, and apparently um, she had the better of the sparring match. And then basically he went in with her with uh, hardly any padding in his gloves and they exchanged and he come off the better and dropped her and um, she checked the pads later and then was complaining that there was no padding in there which was t uh, a lot to do with the power he put into the shot um, as well. Let's go straight into the video and just get a direct word in what Chris, um, Chris, uh, Clarissa sorry, Shields was actually saying. You're in the way now with your health issues because you is a individual. You know, he's talking about some, these gloves were gifted by Roberto Duran to me and I didn't know that the padding was that much in there. The padding had, the gloves and the padding had zero to no padding. That's what it's about. You think I got a problem? It does make a difference when you have no padding in those gloves and it's going to give you a lot more pop on your punches and do more damage i mean the shot knocked it down why did he knock it down in previous spars that they've had previously um it was quite a hard shot as well and as much as clarissa shields is very very talented um she's fighting a man who has a lot more power than what she does. So that's gonna make a, um, a big difference. Yes, she's been dropped before, but I think she was quite peed off about it as um, it was all over the internet that she got dropped and she said that she wanted to fight someone like Keith Thurman, which Keith Thurman we know would absolutely destroy her because Keith Thurman is still a pretty, even though he's a little bit older, he's still a reasonably elite fighter. That's a joke and he ripped that off kind of quickly, but he, he didn't mind an exhibition or spa match with her. And that's a gentleman saying that, to be honest with you. When we get in drop, it's boxing. It happens. I don't mean his heart. I don't see stars. I don't know. He's like, where, where, I, uh, where I couldn't eat for three days, going against heavyweight coming up when I was 17. I don't give a about being dropped, but what I will say is, when a m try to cheat me, you got me up. Look, it was out of order, and I was quite surprised that it did make massive headlines, and it's got millions and millions of views, to be honest with you, because like I said, um, I think women should keep with women boxers, and then um, men uh, should keep with boxing. There shouldn't really end anybody. Yeah, exhibition match, I'll be sure of where they're not really hitting each other, and they're just showing their skills. Um, that would be good but to actually go out and say like i want to fight a man a professional boxer who's got maybe twice as much power especially when you come into professional boxers that can really do some damage that's just absolutely silly and sometimes clarissa i, I think she does mean good to be honest with you she's done a lot for women boxing at the end of the day but it doesn't help her um rattling on um all the time um, about on this on that at the end of the day people know you're actually good and you're a brilliant boxer but sometimes i think she sometimes talks herself um into trouble and that comes with um being famous i actually do like her. i think she's uh, a good ambassador for um for the sport but sometimes when you do speak too much you get yourself in trouble and she's not the only boxer in female and uh, male uh, basically that's got themselves in trouble for saying something. There's many out there. It's not just her. And yes, I ran to my car and I grabbed my knife and I was going to cut Derek Santos. Guess who stopped me? Coach John. Because I will slice his old ass up because don't ever cheat against me. I'm not mad about getting dropped. And anybody who thinks that I am mad about it, uh, you the, you the Look, um, she's obviously pretty angry. Uh, about what happened, um, Carisha Shields, but get over it, it's, 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 it's happened. It's all out of the internet. I think it will be a wake-up call 
in what to expect if she does go in um, with a male boxer but be very 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 careful um, in what you do and there's that saying isn't there stay in your lane um, I mean there are weight classes for a reason there's a reason why male and female fighters don't fight on a professional level yes we can have exhibitions where it's skill and not heavy shots being exchanged at the end of the day because that shot um, could have done a lot of damage to Chris Shields if it was any hard or, or, or hit the wrong spot. Um, she decided to, to, to spar him at the end of the day. I don't know what regulations or what they actually said, but looking at the footage, it looks as though it was um, full out stuff. And she was hitting quite hard as well, uh, to be honest with you. But she did say previously that she got the, the better of him. But I don't think it's much uh, to go on about at the end of the day. But um, definitely, I think it, it'll be a wake-up call for um, Carisha Shields. Um, I know that um, she's interested in fighting Baumgartner next, which will probably be a good fight. I think she's probably got... Carissa Shields have got too many tools for Bumgardner, although it would be a good scrap. Don't forget to subscribe to um, Streamline Entertainment and let me know what you think of the footage.